Hello everybody! Have you ever played a set of Corsa or tried to play a set of Corsa through Content Manager and had one of these things bother you? Checksum, race cancelled, lag, CPU usage problems, files for the car not being there. Well today, let me show you how to fix all this stuff all in one great, long, boring video. But uh, what I'm going to do for you guys is throw in a nice little timestamp thing at the end of the video in the description after I go over it and figure out these times. And uh, nobody's going to have to waste their time and watch the whole video. You guys can just go through and uh, click on those times and see what you want to see in the video. And go ahead and click like and subscribe while you're down there. Click in the description as well. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get to the, the basis of this here. Uh, the basis that I've seen of most people that have a checksum or a race cancel there is they need to be logged into Steam and played the game once. Uh, that is the most important thing to know if you've seen the content going on on these servers on YouTube and stuff and you want to hop in right away, you can't. You do have to log into Steam. You do have to play the game once. The checksum error in itself is usually due to files not matching up or a setting for the server not being correct on your end. Now, what I mean by that is some servers do have different versions of CSP that they run, the custom changes patch, or they have it so you might need to have rain effects on. And if some of these things will give you checksum errors. So if you have a checksum error, go over the server, go over what you need, make sure everything is up to date, and that should resolve your issue. While we're talking about things being up to date, as soon as you get Content Manager, you need to go to this white box up here and you will see something that says update to version, whatever the version is. If you see that, update it and that will be good to go. And for your custom shaders patch, you can come to your about and updates and you can make sure that is up to date and good to go. Now, sometimes what you do have is an error here that will say that your game version is on 1.163 or 1.162 or 1.164. What you can do to fix that issue is you can actually go right ahead and go to your Assetto Corsa root folder. You can do it this way manually, but today what I'll be doing is I'm just going to go on to the properties and I'm going to go to local files and I'm going to browse the files. Now before I do that, while you're here, if you're having a checksum error, you can also verify the integrity of the game files to resolve any core game files that are missing. If you resolve all your game files and you're still having an issue, it might be a mod one, it might be a setting, it, might, it definitely won't be the game files though. But to fix that one little update thing, all you need to actually do is go into this changelog.txt and you can actually change this one, which will be at a 1.62 or a 1.63, and you change it to a 1.164. Now when you do this and hit save, that little error saying in your um, CSP settings here that your content manager or set of course a version is gone will be fixed. That's not a big deal. So I'd like to move on now to the race canceled error. If you are having to check some at any point and you can't fix it, contact me. Let me know. I'll fix it for you. So we're going to move on to race canceled. Now, race canceled just happens for a variety of different reasons. You might have, you know, go to join the server and somebody takes your car. That happens. You might not be logged into Steam, so you get race canceled. That happens. You might not have the required DLC, so you get race canceled. That happens. The important thing that you need to know to diagnose these types of things is that when you are loading into a server, you will get a notification and it will say, you know, do you want to send this crash report? Yes or no. And it'll say, try changing your CSP settings. That might be a problem. This might be a problem. That might be a problem. The main thing is that you close that notification and you wait for the race to cancel in Content Manager and it will tell you the error that you're having. To demonstrate this, I have already messed up this car in my files and I'm going to get an error. I'll get the notification. I'm going to close that notification and I'll show you how to diagnose and fix an error that you get. So let's do that now. So let's see. While we're loading in, to fix a car or a track error, you need to know what car is causing it first or what track. 
ideally while you're loading in what will happen is one of these screens will just kind of stop all of a sudden it'll stop on Shotoko revival project it'll stop on car 7 of 51 or 53 or it'll stop on car 10 of 20 or it'll stop when it's verifying the csp stuff wherever it stops and gives you the error is where you are having the problem so we're going to demonstrate this now I don't think this one is going to stop on that car because it's the very first car that I actually have on the server. So I don't think that it's going to stop on that car, but it should still give me the error at the end of this, the notification to close, and what I need to do to fix my error. As a rule of thumb, all errors will usually, most likely, probably conduct this same exact chronological order of getting the notification here, closing this notification, waiting for content manager to tell me what is wrong. So my car sounds might be broken. Thankfully for me, that is really easy to fix. I can do that in two seconds, but I would rather show you guys what exactly is wrong and how to fix the exact problem that I'm having with this car. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go online here. I already re-downloaded the car for the server. You guys should all know how to do that. So here I'm going to open up the car. And I'm just going to take a look to see what files are in the car that I downloaded. I'm going to go back to my Assetto Corsa folder here. Let's close that. So I'm going to go back to my Assetto Corsa folder here in a sec. And I am going to check on my Honda that I have, and I am going to see what's missing from this car. This will start to give you an idea over time as you start to have errors with different cars. You're going to start to develop what all these different errors mean, and you'll be able to identify and fix them very quickly, all right? So let's go back to my Civic there. And where is the downloaded one? Sorry, one sec. Here's the download one. So if I look at the folders on the top right of my screen, I can see that I don't have an SFX folder in my Civic. So what I can do to fix the specific problem without reinstalling the whole car, now that I have the knowledge, is I can go ahead and I can take the SFX folder and just slap it in there. No problem. I don't need to really replace the whole car. Um, for some reason, it actually didn't go in properly. I think I didn't have enough room in the space. So if I go like this into the white space, this is how you do it properly. Now my SFX folder is in there. Also, while I am in here, I am also going to take a look. And it looks like one more is missing. Uh, the animations folder is not in there. So let's the animations folder in. Now that these two folders are in here... I should technically be able to go ahead and load into the game, even though I put that other folder in that one spot that might cause an error. If it does, great. We have another error to look at to fix. So I just want to make sure that's all fixed, just so you guys can see that that's how you do it. So while we're loading in here, um, I would also like to take this time to show you guys one other thing about uh, how to diagnose the memory usage on your game here. So if you go to your task manager, which I just opened by hitting the task bar with a right click there and hitting task manager, I'm going to hit the performance tab, okay? Now I can see while I'm loading in, I can bring this up by hitting alt tab. So while I'm loading in here, I'm actually going to see if I click memory, as I'm loading in these vehicles, my use of memory is going up really high. A big problem with the use of memory here, and I'm going to show you this right now as it's happening, 16 gigs is not enough to run big servers like this smoothly. It's not going to happen, you guys. It's 100% not going to happen. I'm sorry. This is something that you need to see happening live in front of you to fix that. Not going to happen. Sorry. So it, it loaded me in fine. I don't know why it did that. I don't know why my... Well, I do know why my sky is so bright, but uh, yeah, okay, so it loaded me in fine. My car looks uh, weird. I'm on the curb or something. But yeah, we're loaded in, so we're just going to take that for what it is and get out of there. That fixed my issue that I was having. So the RAM usage one, the memory usage one, you can't fix that. 
Um, what I recommend is that you join car slot servers with 40 cars, uh, you know, 30 drivers, 10 AI, something like that. If you have 16 gigs of RAM, maybe try and, and play on those kinds of servers. You will run into issues. It, it just happens. I can verify it. I upgraded the 32 gigs. I'm having a great time in most of the servers. It's, it's, that is what it is. Now, the other thing as well here, um, what you can also do is if, if you go to your details here, and uh, you're going to see all these different processes and stuff that are running. While the game is loaded in, there will be one acs.exe at the very top because it'll be taking the most resources. It'll be at the top. And you can right click on it. And if you set your priority to high, it'll prioritize that. And if you set your affinity to all cores on that program, it'll change that too. So under acs.exe when it's open, that's how you're going to do that. And then uh, you're going to do that too, make that high. Another thing that can help is if you go to your startup tab in here in your task manager and you disable everything that you don't need running on your PC when it starts, like I don't need this running, that even shouldn't be open. Do that. That's going to free up all your PC's resources as, as it starts up. So that's out of the way. It's also very important to understand that if you can play in one 53 car slot or 64 car slot server, and run totally smooth without mods and stuff like that and play in other ones with rain effects and and all these mods and everything and you start to notice that you're lagging getting occupancy you got to understand at that point it's not normal to be able to play in one high car slot server and not the other one and that's when you start to develop the knowledge that hey this isn't my system's problem okay this is the server's problem myself i'm running a 1650 super i got a ryzen 5 3600 i got 32 gigs of ram there are servers that have 64 slots I can play in fine, and there's some that don't. One's modded, one's not. And it's not your PC's fault, okay? Yeah, it's nice to have, you know, $3,000 to buy a high-end system and laugh at everybody that has issues. But that's not the case here, man. I got a, a lower-end system. I'm running this shit totally fine. There's no reason why you guys can't enjoy it. Go pick the servers that you need to play in that match your system specs. If you don't have the best of the best, you cannot play happily in the best of the best, all right? That's just how it is. So now that we've gotten that dealt with, um, the car issues and track issues that I was talking about, there are the exact same. If you're loading in and it stops on the track, you get the notification, you close it, it'll tell you the, what's wrong with the track. Just reinstall the track. So a couple different issues here are like the rendering issue. So if you go to load into a set of course of the game here, and on the uh, error after you close the notification, it says you have a CPP rendering issue. That is usually just to do with your display, all right? So, you know, you hit, make sure that you're on single screen or triple screen, whatever you have, and that you actually select the resolution that you want. This will totally fix your rendering problem. Um, also, if you're on a low-end system and you have rendering problems, that's when you need to start changing your rendering distance and putting it down, changing your rendering frames and putting it down, your resolutions and, and putting them down. And you need to start checking out that kind of stuff and things that are rendering like that and trying to minimize those. And that will eventually probably go away. As long as you have the display correct, if you have a low-end system, your display is all correct, everything matches up, you still get that rendering error your low-end system needs to be able to render the stuff. So you have to start to change your settings if your system's not taking it. That's something that is important to know. The sound issues, the flame issues, those are the same thing with the cards. If your car doesn't load in, it'll tell you you got a sound problem. It'll tell you the flame problem. Another one to go over is AI reverb. If you close your error and you have an AI reverb problem, that has to do with the AI traffic nine times out of ten. If you reinstall the traffic, that usually fixes it 100%. Whether it's through Content Manager or whether it's through uh, manually installing, it usually works. Sometimes, for whatever reason, sometimes if you go into your custom shaders patch and go to new AI behavior and make sure AI flood and all this stuff is on, for some reason that will also fix it. Okay, so figure that out. Uh, it's one of those couple things. That's not a big problem. Uh, how to replace the file and car, we did just go over that. Now, how to fix your frames per second on low tier systems. I have an entire video on that stuff. Okay, so, you know, if you really need graphic help, go ahead and check that out. But let me show you something here. And I see a lot of this. I see a lot of these guys that have 
2048, 2048, and six faces per frame because they want the rendering to look nice, but it takes up 37% of my graphical performance. If I change this down to two faces per frame, 1024, uh, I'm down to 5% of my graphical performance, okay? You look at your shadows, right? 7.3% at that one, and I go down to 512. Let's take a look how much more that's improved. It's improved a bit, right? So, you know, you just got to click on the little eye thing here and you can start to see how much of this performance. Okay, you like motion blur? I'll have none. All right, you want max motion blur? Well, now you're playing 6.5% of your performance for some blur. I don't, I don't need to do that, right? So this is all personal preference, but if you find yourself lagging in the game, don't let somebody tell you, please, to go turn down, you know, your depth of field qual quality because it's, it's not going to make the hugest graphical changes just just by turning it down maybe you want no depth of field there there's a big gain how about something like word world details you know you got 2.4 percent at very high of my performance why would i want to go with the, the absolute lowest world details for a measly two percent when i can change shadows just a bit and get you know three percent i can change my reflections and get 20 30 percent it's it's all you know risk it's it's what you want benefit versus not benefit gain and loss win lose it's what this is all about you, you sacrifice one thing to have the other thing better do you want high frame rates do you want to have a smooth game or do you want the the little shadows that are 2400 meters away to look really good while they're reflecting light like you know what i'm saying it's just one of those things it's i know that didn't make sense what i said but you know you get the point it, people that have high reflections and lag don't make sense it's, it's, it's at, at the end of the day that's what we're talking about here so, if there's anything anybody needs at the end of the day, uh, just feel free to hit me up, man. I, I don't organize these videos. I just make them to help people out. I'm not here to, to have the most professional, you know, guided videos with every little thing and all these super high professional words and all that kind of stuff. I just want to help people out, guys. So, you know, if you like my content, you like getting help and you don't like waiting in help chats all day, check out this video. Click a couple times in the description once I get them in there. And, uh, yeah, man, just enjoy the game. Have a good day, everybody. Stay gaming. Once again, there's no reason to not play this game or have your sit or have your stuff set up, right? Just set it up, play the game, find something that works for you. Don't let people tell you you can't play this shit because you got a fucking cheap PC, all right? Stay gaming, everybody.